so in today's lecture i'm going to teach all oh, uh, teach all show that the equation this problem okay xp minus yq is equal to x and x square p plus q is equal to xz are compatible and find a solution okay so let me start so this is one of the example from the computable theorem okay uh, show that xp minus yq is equal to x and x square p plus q minus zx is equal to 0 are compatible and find its solution okay so first solution is what uh, this is okay i will start from here so f of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to 0 okay next is what g of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to 0 okay now how i can write this as xp minus yq minus bring this term in the left hand side okay it will become minus x is equal to 0 take it as equation 1 next is your x square p plus q minus zx is equal to 0 okay take this as equation 2 okay now this uh, two things to be compatible what is the condition that i will be giving to you all but before that see this now what is f of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to write down this xp minus yq minus x is equal to 0 next is what g of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to x square, x square p plus q minus zx is equal to 0 this you all have to write okay I hope you all have understood this part okay next okay turn I'll turn the page okay I've turned the page so what is it now differentiate this with respect to first with x okay so fx is what xp minus yq minus x is equal to 0 is there so differentiate this with respect to x I will get p minus minus 1 I will get right differentiation of x is 1 and if I differentiate this I will get p so p minus 1 now differentiate this with respect to y okay this term with respect to this y okay so what I am going to get minus q right now differentiate f with respect to z z term is not there so it is 0 now differentiate this with respect to p I will get only x okay here now differentiate this f with respect to q I will get minus y okay next is what differentiate this term with respect to x g term with respect to x differentiate see what you are going to get 2xp minus z okay over here now differentiate this with respect to y y term is not there so it will be 0 okay now again differentiate this g term with respect to z you will get minus x now differentiate this with respect to p and you all will get x square now differentiate similar way with respect to q you will get nothing but 1 okay so g with respect to q differentiate you will get 1 okay now the uh, these are the condition this is the condition for to show that the two given equation are compatible okay so f uh, square bracket f comma g is equal to 0 square bracket f comma g is equal to dou of f comma g upon dou of x comma p plus p into dou of f comma g upon dou of z comma p plus dou of f comma g upon dou of y comma q plus q into dou of f comma g upon dou of z comma q is equal to 0 and take this as star okay mark this as star next what you'll have to do is this is a condition okay we have to show that uh, square bracket f comma g is equal to zero this is what we need to show so now take this dou of f comma g dou of f comma g upon dou of x comma p over here okay dou of f comma g upon dou of x comma p is equal to i have taken this first one okay so it is like how fx okay f with respect to x f with respect to p then g with respect to x g with respect to p okay now this is equal to write this now what is fx over here 
okay so let us so fx is nothing but what just check over here okay you'll have to you'll need to check so what is it so fx is nothing but p minus 1 okay so plug the value over here p minus 1 now fp is nothing but what let us see what is f with respect to p what we got x right so plug that value over here next gx is there so what is gx with respect to this gx is nothing but 2xp minus z plug the value over here okay next is gp so g with respect to p what we got g with respect to v p we got x square so plug that value over here okay next what you'll have to do over here is this into this you'll have to multiply so p x square minus x square you will plug the value over here okay write down it over here next what you'll have to do is minus 2 x p minus 2 x square p okay this into this no so minus 2 x square p minus and minus it will be plus so x z okay so z x write it down as it is next plus z x okay then what you all are going to get over here is minus x square now uh, where is this minus x square write it over here p x square minus 2 x square p it will be minus x square p over here okay you all have to minus it plus z x this plug the value uh, write it down as it is minus x square then what is minus x square p what is x square p x square p plus q minus z x from where i wrote this from here right x square p plus q minus z x one of the equation so x square p is equal to if i take this towards the right uh, right side you will get positive z x minus negative q so plug this value over here so minus sign is as it is there so it will be x z okay it will be x z or z x minus and minus it will become plus so it will be plus q plus z x write it as it is then this z x along with this z x will get cancelled okay next what is going to remain is is equal to minus x square plus q will remain okay so next let us see next what we are going to do is for this one wait let me rub this um, next is p of dao of f comma j upon dao of z comma p i am going to do that is p dao of f comma g upon dao z comma p is equal to p into f z f p g z g p now this is equal to p write it as it is now what is this f with respect to z what we got okay what we got is f with respect to z is zero so plug that value over here okay then what we got f with respect to p is nothing but x g with respect to z minus x g with respect to p x square you all can just see the values over here okay and plug the and plug them okay next what i have to do is zero into this will be zero so what is left is minus and minus it will be plus so plus x square and this p is also there so it will become p x square okay so basically it was like p into x square so it is nothing but because x minus into minus x it is nothing but x square it is okay so now basically now what you all got is nothing but p x square okay so that's what you have written the value over there now what is p x square p x square what i have told you all p x square is nothing but z x minus q so that z x minus q i have plugged this value over here okay next okay let me rub this part i have explained to you all next okay 
ओके नेक्स्ट लेट एस सी डा ऑफ एफ कॉमा जी अपॉन डा ऑफ वाई कॉमा क्यू सो वे वी हैव टेकन दिस फ्रॉम ओवर योर राइट डा ऑफ एफ कॉमा जी अपॉन डा ऑफ वाई कॉमा क्यू ओके सो इज इक्वल टू ना एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई जी विथ सॉरी दिस इज जी ओके दिस इज जी इट इज जी सो एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एंड जी दिस जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू ओके सो रेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज ओके राइट सो एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इज वॉट एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इज माइनस क्यू नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हैव इज एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू इज वॉट एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू इज माइनस वाई जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई वॉज जीरो राइट एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू इज माइनस वाई जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई वॉज जीरो जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू विल बी इट इज वन जस्ट चेक जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू इज वन ओके सो प्लग द वैल्यूज ओवर योर वंस आई एम डन विथ प्लगिंग द वैल्यू माई क्यू इंटू वन विल बी ऑब्वियसली इट इज जीरो ओनली सो सॉरी दिस जीरो इंटू माइनस वाई विल बी जीरो सो वॉट इज लेफ्ट इज नथिंग बट माइनस क्यू इज लेफ्ट ओके सो राइट इट डाउन नेक्स्ट इज वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट क्यू इंटू डा ऑफ एफ कॉमर जी अपॉन डा ऑफ जेड कॉमर क्यू दैट इज वी आर फाइंडिंग द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट ओके लाइक दिस ओके and then we have to check if uh, it is compatible or not now this is equal to dao of f comma g okay so f with respect to z and g with respect to q okay uh, this q right it has it is f with respect to z f with respect to q g with respect to z and g with respect to q okay now this is equal to q right it has it is f z is what now this values you all can check it over here okay check the values in this okay check the values over here and plug them okay so what i got over here is fz to be 0 fq to be minus y gz to be minus x gq to be 1 now this is equal to what now 0 into 1 will be 0 okay then this is minus and minus it is plus but then again there is one more minus so it will be minus x y and then q is there so minus x y q okay now substitute in star what i have to substitute in star i have to substitute the value of this the value of this and the value of this okay over here and the value of this in this star okay so in this star i have to substitute all this values okay here so so f comma g is equal to nothing but substitute the value over here minus x square now what was the first thing what i got was minus x yeah so what it is Minus x square plus q, right? So plug that value. So what it was? Minus x square plus q. Okay. Next is what? What is the value of p of this? it is nothing but xz minus q right xz minus q so write down you over here plus xz minus q okay next is what 
Now let us see what is the value of dou of f comma g upon dou of y comma q. It was uh, nothing but what we got dou of f comma g upon dou of f. Okay, dou of f comma g upon dou of y comma q is nothing but minus q. So plug that value over here. Okay, minus q. Then minus last part is what last part what we were supposed to find out that is q into dou of f comma g upon dou z comma q is equal to zero so that what we got is uh, this minus x y q so plug that value over here minus x y q okay next what you all are going to do is cancel this two terms will get cancelled that is plus q okay and one minus q will get cancelled what is left is minus x square plus x z minus q minus x y q. Write it as it is. Okay. Now this is equal to minus x square plus x z minus q minus x y q. Okay. So this is. I think I have written it twice. So okay, minus x square plus. Now what is this x z minus q x z minus q. So x z minus q is nothing but x square p over here. You all can see this. Then plug the value over here. So uh, x z minus q is nothing but p x square. Okay minus x y q. Write it as it is. Now take this x common outside. Okay. So what is left minus x plus p x minus y q is left now what is minus x plus p x minus y q check this check the equations quickly so minus x where you all can see minus x over here then there is minus y q and plus x p so the value of that is what nothing but zero so that's what i have done it over here i have to only plug the value so x into 0 okay this is 0 no the value of this is 0 so x into 0 is equal to 0 okay so finally you all can say that so square bracket f comma g is equal to 0 therefore equation 1 and 2 are compatible okay i hope you all can see this clearly okay Y'all can even, y'all can write down this part, okay, quickly. Next, I'll turn the page. Now, solve equation 1 and 2 for P, okay. Let me zoom it little bit. So, solve equation 1 and 2 for P and Q, okay. So, equation 1 and 2, write it as it is. Now, where is the equation 1 and where is the equation 2? So, take the equation 1 and 2 from here. Okay, take these two equations 1 and 2 and plug this equation 1 and 2 over here. Okay, now multiply this equation 2 by y. Okay, multiply. So, x square py plus qy minus zxy is equal to 0. If you multiply this 0 with y, will it will be 0, right? So now what you'll have to do is x square p y plus what is x y minus uh, what is the value of q y what is q y so what is your x square p y write it as it is plus q y is nothing but what now you all see the equation one okay x p minus y q minus x so minus y okay x p minus y q uh, minus x is equal to 0 this i have written it over here then minus y q write it as it is is equal to take it towards the uh, right side you will get minus x p plus x right over here now this minus sign take it to the other side okay oh my okay so what you will get y q is equal to x p minus x so plug this value over here x p minus x okay y q is nothing but x p minus x right so plug that value over here and then minus zxy write it as it is is equal to 0. Now divide this equation by x and see what you all are going to get. Okay. You all have to divide this by x. Okay. I'll turn the page. 
सो आई होप यू ऑल कैन सी दिस क्लियरली एक्स स्क्वायर पी वाई प्लस एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स माइनस सेड एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो हैव टू डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाय एक्स सो इफ आई डिवाइड एक्स स्क्वायर पी वाई अपॉन एक्स प्लस एक्स पी अपॉन एक्स माइनस एक्स अपॉन एक्स माइनस सेड एक्स वाई अपॉन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस एक्स टर्म वन एक्स विल गेट कैंसिल एक्स एक्स टर्म विल गेट कैंसिल ओवर यू ऑल्सो इट विल गेट कैंसिल सो वॉट यू ऑल आर गोइंग टू गेट इज वन एक्स विल रिमेन ओवर योर पी वाई अलॉन्ग विथ पी वाई प्लस पी विल रिमेन माइनस वन 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 एक्स इज एक्स एक्स गॉट कैंसिल सो माइनस वन विल बी देर सो माइनस योर जेड वाई विल रिमेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट इट हैज इट इज ओके नाउ एक्स पी वाई प्लस पी राइट इट हैज इट इज एंड दिस टर्म टेक इट टूवर्ड्स द राइट साइड सो इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो वन प्लस जेड वाई ओके so here what is going to remain x p y plus p is equal to one plus z y okay so p p is common from here so take it outside so what is left inside x y plus one is equal to one plus z y okay so p is equal to one plus z y upon right is down take it down okay one plus x y so you got the value of p now what you all have to do is now once you get the value of p what you all need to do is you'll have to substitute this value of p in equation 1 okay now substitute this in 1 and c okay i have i have written the equation 1 over here that is xp minus yq minus x is equal to 0 okay so x is what right x has it is now what is the value of p over here 1 plus zy 1 plus upon 1 plus xy Plug the value over here. Okay, one plus z y upon one plus x y. In place of p, I am plugging the value it over here. Okay, minus x. Okay, this minus x is over here, and this is equal to y q. I have taken it towards the right side, so it will become positive. So equal to y q. Okay. Next, let us see what we are going to get. Okay, next step. What I have done over here is you can see this. Let me explain you all this part. This x multiply with this term. Okay, x plus x z y. So x plus z y. Okay. Uh, so it is x plus z y x it is. Okay, z y x it is. Mm. So let me write down that x term over here. Okay, so multiply this x plus z by x minus x. Write it as it is. Okay, I have to multiply this one plus x y with this term, so it will become minus x plus sorry minus it will be minus x square into y. Okay, upon the entire upon one plus x y is equal to y q will be there. Okay, next let us see. X plus z y minus x plus x square y plus one plus x y is equal to y q. Okay, same thing. This I have only turned the page. So okay, now let me continue this. So y term is common. So okay. So what you'll have to do is here x x will get cancel. Okay. So x term x term will get cancel, and what is going to remain over here? z y minus x square y so y y term is get uh, is common so take the common outside z okay here there was x term right so just write it down okay x term is there so okay z y x so y is common and y is common so what is left z x is left minus x square upon this y take it down and rest write it as it is that is 1 plus x y okay is equal to q okay now here y y term will get cancel over here 
so i have cancelled your y y term so what i got is zx minus x square so upon 1 plus xy is equal to q so xx is common again over here so x i have taken it outside the bracket what is left z minus x will re remain okay upon 1 plus xy write it as it is is equal to q so this is the value of q now what you will have to do is tell me what you will have to do you will have to substitute the value of p and q in th this z Now substitute this p and q in dz is equal to p dx plus q dy, okay? Now dz is equal to what it is, what we got the value of p. The value of p was nothing but 1 plus zy upon 1 plus xy. So plug the value over here, 1 plus zy upon 1 plus xy dx plus what is the value of q, what we got? x into z minus x upon 1 plus xy. So, x plus x into z minus x upon 1 plus xy into dy, okay? Now, what you all have to do is, this explanation, uh, I will be explaining you all this in detail. So, be careful, okay? So, what you all have to do is, uh, minus, put minus on both the side, minus dx, okay? Substitute minus, sorry, minus dx on both the side like this minus t uh this is a rough part okay rough page rough explanation okay so this is a rough explanation part uh so so what i have done it over here is okay so i have written this step over here okay this is the explanation part now dz minus dx so both the side you'll have to what you'll have to do is put minus dx okay on both the side so minus dx over here and minus dx over here okay write this entire term has it is put minus dx okay this part you all got it then write this part has it is over here okay 1 plus red y upon 1 plus x y dx plus now this is what x into z minus x upon 1 plus x y you all have to multiply with this okay so the plus it will become what minus this minus sign is the minus 1 minus xy it will be and in the bracket dx okay if you substitute this in this you will get minus dx minus xy dx right so then the entire uh, upon up, what it is 1 plus xy right it has it is okay now here you all can see that dx and dx is common right so dx and dx is common so what you all have to do here is 1 plus zy okay this okay so your dx and dx is common so what you'll have to do is 1 plus zy write it uh, this term over here minus 1 minus xy over here okay put the bracket entire now this is upon 1 plus xy for this is all for this one also for this one also it was same right so what you'll have to do is dx write it outside the bracket plus x in the bracket write down z minus x dy upon 1 plus xy has it is okay only this dx dx i have taken to be the common right so this is how you all get this step okay this part so dz minus dx is equal to 1 plus zy minus 1 minus xy upon 1 plus xy dx plus x z minus x upon 1 plus xy dy okay this explanation is over here okay next what you'll have to do dz minus dx is equal to now over here this one term one term will get cancelled plus one minus one got cancelled then what you are going to get is zy and xy so in this what is common yy term is common so take y outside write z minus x upon one plus xy dx plus here what you'll have to write down x z minus x upon 1 plus x y dy write it as it is okay okay so i'll turn the page over here so let us see what we are going to get dz okay so let me bring it over here so dz minus dx is equal to y up into z minus x upon 1 plus x y dx so this i have already told you all okay now what you'll have to do is dz minus 
will explain this to you all very quickly. dz minus dx upon z minus x. So, z minus x, z minus x. Okay. I have taken it over here. What is left is y dx. Okay. Plus x dy upon 1 plus xy. Okay. This is left. Now, integrate these two terms. Okay. Integrate both the side. What you will get dz? Integrate this. Okay. So, dz minus dx upon z minus x. Integrate y dx plus x dy upon 1 plus xy. Then, this is the rule which you all have to apply for this integration. Okay. That is integral of f dash of x upon fx dx is equal to nothing but ln of fx. Okay. So, that's what I have done. I have applied over here. So, I got what I got is ln of z minus x I got is equal to ln of 1 plus xy plus ln of c okay apply this rule for this integration and you will get this okay next what i'll have to do if you integrate this you will get 1 right ln of 1 plus xy so integrate use this rule and then ln of z minus x right it has it is so ln of both ln is common right ln of 1 plus xy into c1 so z minus x is equal to 1 plus xy will remain into c1 so this is nothing but z is equal to if i take this minus x on the right hand side what i am going to get positive x so x plus 1 plus xy into c1 okay i hope you all have understood this trace lecture okay and thanks for watching if you all have any doubts any queries you all can ask me in the comment session